Today, we're going to check out a new addition to the Symbol Builder feature in Lesson Picks. As you may know, the Symbol Builder lets you combine multiple images and create a brand new symbol that you can use in all of your materials. You'll find the Symbol Builder in the menu bar right next to the Quick Search box. You've always been able to add pictures by searching, browsing, and using the pictures in your tray. And the Common tab shows you things that are regularly used like dividing lines, thought bubbles, and the like. But today, we're focusing on the new Text tab. The Text tab lets you add text in various fonts and colors directly into your custom symbol. Here, we'll add a simple text that says Hello in Century Gothic font with a blue fill color and no border. When we hit Add Text, LessonPix will build the text string and insert it just like any other symbol. Now you can move it, resize it, rotate it, etc. The border color can be used when you want text to stand out against a similar background. Here we'll make the words from Lesson Picks with a white fill and a blue border. You can also remove the fill or the border by checking the None checkboxes. Let's look at a real world example and see how useful this can be. Here I've put together a custom symbol. I've added pictures of a stressed out boy and a group activity. I've also taken a thought bubble from the Common tab. Here we'd like to enter what he's thinking. I need a break. On the text tab, we enter I need a with the Arial font, black fill, and no border. Clicking Add Text, I move the new element inside the thought bubble. Now we enter break and click Add Text or just hit Enter. Moving the word break, we've got a great visual for this kiddo. If we want to change the word break to be green instead of black, we just delete the element and add a replacement. Now that we're happy with it, we enter the symbol information, the title, keywords, and description, and click Create Symbol. Now we have a brand new symbol that is perfect for our situation. You can add it to the tray, make materials, and treat it just like any other lesson pick symbol. Our testers have found tons of ways to use this, from creating their own memes with student photos to custom comic strips specific to their clients' needs. We can't wait to see what you come up with. Share your creations in the Sharing Center, and then let us know in the Facebook Users Group. I hope you enjoy this new tool, and as always, good luck and have fun.